Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul from the past couple weeks. I know it's been um, a while since I posted a video, but I've been crazy busy and so um, I have kind of a lot of pops here to show you that I have acquired over the last couple weeks. And um, yeah, so here we go. The first one I'm going to be talking about is this one. Um, it is Chef from Monsters, Inc. I um, got this one to go with my Sully and Boo, and I absolutely adore him. He is so, so cute. He looks just like the movie, of course. He has his uh, sushi knife in one hand. He has a, <laughs> a bandage on one of his tentacles. Um, the details and everything in this is super cute. I'm so glad I got this. Um, it's just one of those that made me happy when I saw it and I definitely wanted to complete the Monsters Inc. set because I love Monsters Inc. so much. So there is that one. And then of course to go along with that, I got Mrs. Roz. Um, this is one of my favorite pops actually in my collection um, because of how detailed she is. It's literally crazy how much detail is in her. She has um, pearls all the way around to hold on her glasses which is awesome. Her sweater is perfectly sweater material. She has her clipboard that literally, it's hard to see, but has writing inside of there. Everything is perfect. Has the Monsters Inc. logo there. Her hair sculpt is super cute. Her glasses actually have plastic in there. Um, and then the detailing of the texture of her uh, back of her head and her tail. This pop is awesome. It looks just like her. Um, this couldn't have gotten any better, so I had to, had to have that. Um, like I said, definitely top three in my collection. Awesome. Um, next up I got this beautiful lady. Um, the Diamond Collection Hot Topic Exclusive Mulan. As you can see, she is completely glittered out. Super, super gorgeous. She has the flower in her hair, just like she should. She's holding a fan. Everything looks super, super detailed and beautiful on this Mulan. Um, I love the Diamond Collection, as you guys all know. Oh, sorry. So this is a really, really nice addition to my collection, and Melissa actually gave me this one. So thank you so much, Lady Funko. Um, if you guys haven't checked her out, please check out Lady Funko. I will link her channel at the bottom. Um, so that is the Hot Topic exclusive Diamond Collection Milan, and I still need Merida and Jasmine to complete this set. So they are on my list of ones to get. Um, next up, these three all go together. They're all out of the boxes already because I display out of box. Um, these are from Big Hero 6. I'm super excited about these. Big Hero 6 is one of my favorite, favorite um, Disney movies. Um, new Disney movies. And I think it's such an awesome movie and it's super like family and I just love it. Um, so here are the three pops that I have from Big Hero 6 so far. Um, these are super, super cute. They're all in their, like, fighting gear, which I love. Um, I definitely want to complete this set as soon as possible. I need four more pops to complete it. So, um, as you can see, I need Baymax, Baymax in his suit, and Fred. Oh, wait, and Honey Lemon. Yeah, so I need four more, like I said. Um, and I really want the Diamond Collection 6-inch Baymax. I think that one is super awesome. Um, I know they sometimes have it at Hot Topic. I really need to go in there and check. Um, but since I've gotten these, I've been on a no spending thing <laughs> because I'm going to Disney World the day after tomorrow. So that is why um, this set isn't even close to being completed. I don't even know if they have these in stores anymore. So I'm going to be definitely on the hunt for these. Maybe I'll have to go online. But um, yeah, so I have um, Go Go Tamago. Hero, who's the main character of Big Hero 6, and Wasabi No Ginger. So these three pops are super, super detailed. You can see every single aspect of their suit is done perfectly. I absolutely love how they actually have a mask over their face. Um, all three of them do. And the head sculpt on her is super awesome. Like, these are literally just like the movie, and um, Funko really, really rocked it on these so I need those last four to complete this set as soon as possible I want to complete that set next I think um so and then from the P.O. box I got some mail today 
that I am super excited about. Um, my friend James heard when I was on the live, live stream um, the other day that I really wanted the Fire Jack Jack. I know I've talked about that on my channel a couple times as well. Um, so he sent me a box and he said he was sending me the Fire Jack Jack. So um, I'm super excited about it and here's what the note says. It says, Ellen, surprise. I know how much you love Jack Jacks, so I sent you the whole set. Yes, he sent me the whole set of Jack Jacks, and I'm super, super pumped about it. I could not even believe it. When I read this note, I was like, James, thank you. Um, I hope you have an awesome time at Disney World with Zach. He said that. And so that was super, super sweet of him. I'm going to keep this note as always. Um, so me and Melissa, aka Lady Funko, are working on a super awesome box to send over to James because he has been so nice to us both. So I got all of the Jack Jacks, which I'm super excited about. Um, here is the common, which I didn't even have yet, so I'm super excited. Here is the Fire Jack Jack, which you guys know I have been wanting so, so bad. He is super, super awesome. Um... Let me go ahead and take it out and show you guys. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. So this is the Fire Jack Jack Target exclusive. Um, I seriously am in love with this pop. I think the way they executed the fire is a super, super awesome idea. Um, it's translucent. You can see through it and you can see his hair and everything. And it's just so, so cute. So thank you so much. I was wanting this one so bad and you seriously outdid yourself with sending me the whole set of Jack Jacks. I seriously love Disney babies and I think I've said that before on my channel so um, thank you for sending these to me. You have no idea how excited I am about it. Um, then the Hot Topic exclusive Chrome Jack Jack which oh my gosh I just won't ever like get over this. This is super super awesome. Um, check them out. He's chrome. He has chrome little hands. Everything he's in his uh, onesie. That is so, so cute. I guess the next set I need to complete is my incredible set. Because as of right now, I only have Jack Jacks. So, the next one is the Edna Jack Jack. I am so pumped about this. When I saw the movie, this was my favorite part. Um, this is the 2018 Summer Convention Limited Edition Edna Jack-Jack. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with the movie, uh, on Incredibles 2, Edna gets to babysit Jack-Jack and he wants to be just like her and so he wears a wig and <laughs> she babysits him and it's just super awesome. So thank you. I'm super, super stoked about this one. I love this part of the movie. Literally my favorite part. So thank you for that. And then we have the Monster Jack-Jack. I just can't even believe that I have all of these. Like, This is the Funko Shop um, limited edition Jack-Jack. And it's when he turns into a monster. So that is super cute. Still rocking the diaper. Got his big old chest and arms. <laughs> this is awesome. Same hairdo. Um, so there's that. And then, uh, last but not least, is the FYE exclusive Jack Jack and diaper um, to complete the set. So here is that one. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love all my Jack Jacks. <laughs> super, super awesome. Um, all I asked for was the fire one, but of course the pop community is so stinking sweet and wants to help me build my collection so thank you so much and James like I said you have a box coming for you very soon me and Melissa are working very hard on it um so these are all of the pops in the past couple weeks that I've gotten I think my collection's up to 40 pops already which is crazy because I've only been doing this for a couple weeks now and I feel like my shelf is already almost completely full so I'm a little stressed out about that but it's okay I'll get that figured out soon and here is my display so far I have Wonder Woman up there until I get more to join her. Um, that is a painting my friend Morgan made for me, by the way. I think it's super cute. But um, here it is. I love the way this is all coming together so far. Um, my shelf's almost full, as you can see. So I'm 
definitely gonna need to figure out what to do when I get more pops. Um, but I decided to hang my mystery mini keychains on the wall by the shelf. So I definitely want to get more of those to fill up that whole area there. But um, yeah, so so far I have those three and then two of them are on my keys, the Cheshire Cat and Diablo from Sleeping Beauty. But yeah, here is my display so far. I'm seriously so obsessed with the way this is looking. And then I also have my notes right here from everyone who sent me pops. Um, so thank you, thank you again to James Dieter for these two here. Um, thank you to Kent Pole Live for this amazing Hades. Melissa, of course, for half of my collection. Just kidding, but kind of. <laughs> um, I'm seriously loving this. Can't wait to complete my Big Hero 6 set. I need a couple more, but that is my display. And really quick, in case any anyone was wondering, Lady Funko and I are both sharing a P.O. box. So you can put either of our names, whoever you're sending the item to, and just put the same address. So um, it might have gotten a little confusing. I just wanted to go ahead and point that out that, yes, Lady Funko and I have the same P.O. box address. And also, I finally made a pop Instagram. So if you do want to follow me on Instagram, it's a girl and her pops with underscores beneath all of those so a underscore girl underscore so on and so forth a girl and her pops so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you later